Have you ever wondered how doctors diagnose lung cancer? It begins with an understanding of what lung cancer is, a malignant tumor that originates in the lung, often due to genetic damage to airway cells from smoking or exposure to harmful chemicals. It's the most diagnosed and deadliest cancer worldwide. Early detection is crucial for better outcomes, underlining the importance of an accurate and prompt diagnosis. When lung cancer is suspected, typically due to symptoms like coughing, shortness of breath or chest pain, the first step towards diagnosis is the use of imaging tests. These tests are designed to evaluate the presence, extent and location of potential tumors within the lung. Often, the initial test is a chest x-ray, which can reveal an obvious mass or other signs of concern. However, it's important to note that some lung tumors may not be visible by x-ray. So, while the journey to diagnosing lung cancer begins with imaging tests, it certainly doesn't end there. There's a lot more to this process, which we'll delve into in the upcoming scenes. So, Stay tuned as we explore further into the world of lung cancer diagnosis. Diagnosis begins with imaging tests but doesn't end there, doesn't. So how do these imaging tests work? Let's unravel the mystery step by step. When lung cancer is suspected, the first line of action is typically a chest x-ray. This is a simple, non-invasive procedure that can provide a quick peek inside the lungs. The X-ray works by sending a controlled amount of radiation through the body producing an image of the chest cavity. This image can reveal if there is an obvious mass or other abnormalities like the widening of the mediastinum, which suggests the spread to lymph nodes there or conditions like atelectasis, which is a lung collapse consolidation, which indicates pneumonia, or pleural effusion, which is fluid buildup around the lungs. However, it's important to note that not all lung tumors are visible by X-ray. This is where the role of computed tomography, commonly known as a CT scan, comes into play. A CT scan is a type of imaging that uses a series of X-ray images taken from different angles around the body. CT scans are incredibly detailed and can reveal the sizes and locations of tumors that might not be visible on a standard X-ray. This makes them an invaluable tool in the fight against lung cancer. But just as with any tool, these imaging tests have their limitations. For instance, some tumors may not be visible on an X-ray or a CT scan, and these tests can't always differentiate between benign and malignant tumors. So while these imaging tests provide crucial initial information in the journey of diagnosing lung cancer, remember that a definitive diagnosis requires something more. It requires a closer look a microscopic examination of the suspected tissue. But that's a topic for our next scene. Stay tuned. A definitive diagnosis of lung cancer requires a biopsy. But what exactly is a biopsy? Well, a biopsy is a procedure where a small piece of tissue is removed and examined under a microscope by a pathologist. If cancer cells are found in the tissue, a definitive diagnosis of lung cancer is confirmed. In the case of lung cancer, the tissue is typically obtained from the suspected tumor in the lung. There are a few different ways to do this. Sometimes a fiber optic bronchoscope is used. This is a thin, flexible tube with a light and a camera. On the end, that's inserted into the airways to reach the lungs. In other cases, fine needle aspiration may be used. This involves using a thin needle to extract cells from the lung. Sometimes a biopsy is guided by imaging techniques like CT scans 
to ensure the needle is accurately placed into the suspected tumour. For those who can't undergo a typical biopsy procedure, there's an option called a liquid biopsy. This involves taking a sample of body fluid, like blood, which might contain traces of tumour DNA. Biopsies provide definitive proof of lung cancer, but there's still more to the diagnosis process. Once lung cancer is confirmed, it's crucial to determine its extent. But how do doctors do that? Well, the answer lies in the power of imaging. To assess how far the cancer has spread, doctors often use a technique called positron emission tomography, or PET scanning, sometimes combined with a CT scan. This technology allows them to locate any metastases or secondary cancer sites in the body. However, PET scans aren't as effective in the brain, so if a person with lung cancer has large tumors or tumors that have spread to nearby lymph nodes, doctors may use a different approach. In these cases, they often turn to magnetic resonance imaging or MRI. If MRI isn't available, they might use a CT scan instead to search the brain for metastases. But where exactly does lung cancer commonly spread? The most frequent destinations are the brain, the bones, the liver and the adrenal glands. When imaging suggests the tumor has reached these areas, the suspected metastasis is often biopsied to confirm that it is indeed cancerous. With an understanding of the extent of the lung cancer, doctors can then determine the best course of treatment. That's the power of modern medical imaging. It helps doctors see the unseen and fight the fight against lung cancer. Please do not hesitate to contact, like and share.